Never used APA style before or just need a refresher? The Hodges University Library is here for you. Let's break down the basics. What is APA? APA style is a set of guidelines that determine the conventions of writing for professional and academic papers. This includes how the paper is formatted, how punctuation is used, the word choice in your writing style, and how you give credit to your sources. This may seem daunting, but I promise it will become easy with practice. Let's focus on that last piece, references. APA citations look a little different based on what type of source you're working with, such as a book or a website, but they are all made of the same parts. Who, when, what, and where. Who is who wrote the source. This could be one or more authors, an organization or government entity, or even a company. When is when it was published. This can be a year, a full date, or you can write the letters ND if there is no date. What is what it's called. This is the title of the source or a description if there is no title. And where is where it's published. This might be the journal title, volume and issue number, the URL of a website, a DOI number, which is a specific web address given to journal articles, or the name of a book publisher and its location. That's it. If this still seems confusing, I'll show you some examples. In-text citations are the easy part. These go at the end of a quote or paraphrase in the body of your paper. These always include the author's last name, the year, and if available, the page number. Here are some examples of citations you will probably use most often. Here is a citation for a website. The author's last name goes first, followed by their first initial. The date comes next, put in parentheses, with the year first. The title of the website is in italics, and only the first letter and proper nouns are capitalized. Finally, we put retrieved from and the URL. A citation for a journal article has a little more information. Again, the author is the same and the year is listed on its own since we do not have a full date. In journal articles, the title of the article and the issue number are in normal font, but the title of the journal and the volume number are italicized. Just like the website citation, we list the web address where we retrieve this article. If this is confusing, don't worry. The library has an APA guide to make the work much simpler for you. This is the library's homepage. You can find this through your Blackboard course, through my Hugo, or just by bookmarking library.hodges.edu. To access the APA guide, simply click on the blue book in the bottom left corner. This guide has a variety of resources to help you with APA, the first being the Hodges University APA Style Guide, which is an incredibly detailed resource for breaking down all the details of APA. There are also templates here for you, so there's no need to memorize the size of your margins or what your header is supposed to look like, just fill in the blanks. One resource that I would highlight is Citation Fox, which is a great way to get your citations right 100% of the time. It breaks down each source type into great detail, such as how many authors it has, whether or not you found it online or in print, etc. Check out this guide. It has a great amount of resources, things from Purdue, ways to manage your sources, games to practice. So just remember that little blue book to help you out. As always, the library has a 15 minute rule, so if you are struggling for more than 15 minutes, stop and ask for help. Good luck.